All right, all right, Outdoor Office family, we're back. Sorry for the nasalness. I can't even talk today. But hack number two for a new camper. I don't know why they just don't do it at the factory because I guess when people spend money on campers, they expect them that they need to do repairs for themselves. But here's what's frustrating. They're already running a bead of silicone right here. Why not finish the bead all the way around and down under and all the way up under here and come back up and just do a nice bead all the way around the window. Well, we can't do that. Sorry, buyer. That's just not our way to do stuff correctly. But don't tell me that water will not eventually get down in here. Yeah, there's a small foam seal, but they dry rot. So what you have to do is, you have to run the bead of silicone all the way around. So what I'm gonna show you, get you some painter's tape, get you an edge, eighth, three sixteenths, put you a piece of tape here, and then a piece of tape here, and run you a bead of silicone all the way around clean it up once it cures for a couple hours come back pull the tape off let's get it taped and i'll show you what it looks like before i get started all right all right it's taped what we're going to do we're going to run a bead of silicone all the way around here even though the top is done i'm going to run another bead and i'm going to fill this gap right here all the way down and around so let me go get the caulking gun get my silicone I'll show you what kind I'm using I'll be right back all right I'm using the GE uh, window and door supreme silicone 100% waterproof uh, it's freeze and sunproof seven times stronger adhesion so this has a adhesion binder in it and that's what you want you want a hundred percent silicone that has an adhesive for sure if not it will just pull right out so what we want to do it's non-paintable that's fine we're going to it's clear so let's get it loaded up and get our bead done all right here we go we're going to get our caulking gun up here and going I'm doing with this with one hand so I'll show you my bead I get going here there we go just gonna take us put us a nice bead right across the top here All right, now that I've got that, I'm gonna start back over here and keep going. Be right back. All right, the bead of caulking is done. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at one side, just with my finger. I'm just gonna take my finger and just run me a nice, little edge all the way down and around yeah there's a lot of extra I get that I get it that's why that tape line is there you just want to take and get all this done in one swipe if you can that is why the tape is there so been picking my nose I'm just kidding I know it wasn't in one swipe but you'll get the point uh, I want to make sure 
I get that joint right there really well. Look at that. Looks like a professional done that. So I'll go back and I'll just clean these edges up just a little bit on the, the black window trim. But once this sets up, I'll take, peel the tape off, and I've got a good edge. And that's rainproof in about 30 minutes. So let's get this other cleaned up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, look how clean that looks. All up under there. Real nice, Clark, real nice. All the way up through here. I think we could kind of clean this up just a little bit coming through there. Oh yeah, looks really good. All right, 30 minutes, which is about one second for y'all. It's gonna be 30 minutes for me, but I'm gonna pull this tape off and show you the finished product. Hang in there with us. That was a quick 30 minutes, wasn't it? Check that. Look, look how clean that is. All the way down and around, just look how clean that is. Just look. You like that, don't you? Yep. All right. Now we have one two we're gonna do around the door two three four we're gonna do around the outside camper shell we're gonna even run a small bead right through here just to make sure these are your front seams that come all the way up and down see they've already got some here all the way up and down but we're gonna do that then we're gonna run across the top with a bead all the way around we got number four outdoor storage five master bedroom window this is actually the escape window here in case there was a fire or something uh, and the big window for the slide out uh, so I've got a lot of taping and a lot of caulking to do so that's what seven Seven areas, eight right there. So we're gonna get them all done and I'm just showing you what you need to do for your camper when you buy one. This is a must because the manufacturer only goes this far. You know, they only go that far, that far. Come on guys, do a better job. All the camper manufacturers, do a better job. So when the consumer buys it, they don't have to do anything. So just do a better job. But y'all be good. And this is Larry Johnson from the outdoor office. And always remember, no matter what the season. Oh, let me show you this one. Look, they didn't stop up here. They almost went all the way down the window. Why can't you just finish? I mean, it would be easy. Oh, I know. I'm complaining. Got sand in my underwear about it. But I want I want people that's buying a camper. I want them to be right for them. But this is what I'm doing for a buddy of mine and his camper. Because he asked me what he needed to have done. So I'm telling him. Like I said, making a little bit of this. So y'all be good. And this is Larry Johnson from the outdoor office. And always remember, no matter what the season... We got you in our sights.